What's up guys? Welcome to the 2017 WWA Wakeboard World Series Rundown. We're here at Lake Biwa for the Malibu Boats and Lake Biwa Pro as a part of the Evolution Series and the Wakeboard World Series. I have Heat Winner right here with me, Dean Smith, man. Well done today. How was it out there? It's, uh, it's tough. We've had a couple of rough water events this year, but this has just got a lot of water movement going on. There's a lot of rollers and stuff, so it shuffled the heats up a lot this, uh, for the pro man. Dowdy got second, so that Good point. shuffled everything up. So that's actually made a really interesting uh, day for tomorrow. I think Dowdy, Harley, and Raph are all in the same heat. Yeah. And then uh, that's probably the toughest one. I think there's probably another tough one, Noah. Heat three, man. Yeah, heat Noah, Marcy, Marcy, and Nick. So that's yeah. probably, you'd say, the next toughest heat. So it's going to be interesting considering that there's a lot riding on it. Uh, Harley, he makes final. Game over, wins World Series. Yeah. Going to be going to be huge for Harley. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and dive into the big drama of the day. Um, the girls. Yeah. How about that? Did Jamie Lopina, the leader in the uh, Wakeboard World Series, unfortunately going down and getting last in her heat, which ties her for 10th, I believe? Yeah, so she finishes equal 10th. So essentially going into this event, she made final. She really had basically wrapped up World Series. Taylor McCullough would have had to have won the World Series, uh, won the event, and all she had to do was finish fifth or better in the final. Finishing third, she was still looking good because she only gets uh, five points less than that. Essentially, Taylor McCulloch will still have to have won the event. Unfortunately, it looks like Jamie's finished fourth, which leaves it wide open right now. So it looks like either Nicola, Megan, or uh, Taylor McCulloch, any of those three win the event uh, tomorrow. They win World Series. And then there's still a slim hope for Jamie. As far as you can work out doing all the math and stuff, if uh, Nicola or Megan don't win the event, Taylor comes second, she yeah. wins World Series. Woo. If none of those three come third, then I uh, come top three, then Jamie still wins. So she still has a hope, but she's definitely hanging on the other girls. I, I can definitely tell you, you know, that this is the last stop, so we're building up more drama than ever right now. And uh, it's the tightest I've seen it. Like for the last ever. few years, like you look at the last few years, Megan's dominated the pro women. It's been wrapped up usually three three events before the final, mm -hmm. crushing it. And Megan coming back this year, missing the opening couple of events, has done a crazy job to get back into the uh, point. Chase. Wow. And the last few years, last year Dowdy was pretty methodical in getting the World Series wrapped up. He knew exactly where he had to finish. Mm -hmm. So it was, a, I wouldn't call it an anti-climax, but it was pretty much all said and done yeah. coming into the final event. This is the first that I've seen in man, a few years now that it's really going to come down to crunch time. So the girls tomorrow are going to be really, really cool to watch. You can definitely expect the, the crowds to be right there on the shoreline to be able to watch, uh, especially the professional women, but also the professional men too, mm -hmm. as uh, it's going to get insanely close right here with this. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Like there are a lot of mathematical uh, situations for the girls where Jamie can win, Taylor can win, and then obviously Ooh. coming into this event, I'm sure they didn't really think they had a chance, but now Nicola and Megan, they have a proper shot, especially considering they're probably the two favorites to win this event. Like coming into this, they're probably the, the two form riders that won the most events between them. So yep. you would imagine that one of those two are probably going to take this out. Probably going into this right now, they're probably the favorites and coming but coming into this, they really didn't have a mathematical chance until unfortunately Jamie uh, came forth. It's, it's going to be wild. We will be crowning so many different champions uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to be doing the event champion, both men and women, and we're going to be also doing Wakeboard World Series and the Evolution Series. So we've yeah. got a lot on the line right here as this is the last event of the year and speaking of last event is it your last event of all time that's oh man that's, that's gonna it? be one that that's gonna <laughs> be one that hurts you know that dean you're one of the last of a, of a breed that we need more of man so i know it's gonna hurt me a lot seeing you go but uh i understand why i'll see you in the bite next year <laughs> there you go <laughs> there you go well we can hope that we had we have tomorrow the uh, somewhat similar weather we had today. There was supposed to be a typhoon today come through, and instead we've got calm winds. I mean, the uh, the gods who were looking over at us uh, here hey, in Japan. All things considered, it wasn't too bad at all. Just just to bounce back a few boats around, so it just made for some uneven conditions. But man, the wake's cracking. Like it's still really good. So we're looking forward to riding tomorrow. And like I said, like a few mathematical situations. There's a little bit of drama on the line for tomorrow. Woo! Obviously Harley. He makes final, game over, wins World Series, but we'll probably have to look over the map because I yeah. can't imagine any situations with Harley usually doesn't make a final, so. <laughs> yeah, true that, true that. That's just one of those things, but man, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool. It'll be it'll be interesting. We're, uh, we're expected to have warm weather and sun tomorrow, um, so we cannot <laughs> wait to wrap up this entire event uh, and crown all these different champions. Dean, I wanna congratulate you again on winning your heat. Um, 
we're all we're all hoping to see you there in that final and uh, hopefully on top of that podium uh, one last time man yeah man so thank you guys check with us tomorrow as we're gonna have one of the most insane days that we've ever had in wakeboarding history